And now, <clears throat> so today I had, I had heard about a man in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who was arrested for cyber stalking, who was literally arrested and put in jail for what Eric Love is doing to me. Now, this is a man, we've talked about obsession, we talked about, you know, let me show you something here. Is this something a Christian does? Is this what a Christian man with a wife and children does? Sits at home with a computer with a file specifically dedicated to me? A man who sits around and makes cartoons out of my image? A man who, after three years or whatever it's been, is still making fake profile of other people, is still uploading, he's got a whole new platform, I was told, or uh, whatever, uh, Rumble or Bitch Shoot or one of the two, I don't know, whatever one it is, and is literally the past few days uploading videos about me again, every day spending his time on me. Is that a Christian? Is that how a Christian behaves? Look at this guy's folder. PC downloads, attachment. This guy is a sick bastard. Look at this. Look at this. This is what he does with his time. He sits around making cartoon images of me. No, I don't. I, here's the proof. So, again, it was pointed out to me today that there is somebody sitting in prison today for this. For stalking and harassing online in Oklahoma, apparently. So, we're going to see if something can be done there. Because when a guy so when a guy comes on to my YouTube channel here and just incessantly makes fake profiles about others to purposely disrupt, annoy, harass, that's a crime. It's not a Christian behavior either. This is sick. Like this is seriously deranged behavior. I find it odd too that some of his followers are crying because people are saying to them about when it, saying to them, it's not fair to judge me on my life. You don't even know me, but they do it to everybody else. Because they're not saved. Again, just because you're, um, just because you're not pissed at whipping women anymore, doesn't mean you're not beating people up. Just because you're not punching people or selling drugs near school anymore, doesn't mean you're still not a scumbag. Instead, you use YouTube, and instead you make stupid accounts. Oh, Rich Podkowski just farted. Yeah, because that's what Christians do. So just screenshot these profiles. I need the names. If you can get a screenshot of the account, I need that too, if you can. And we're gonna do we're gonna build our file more so than we already have. We have lots already, but we're gonna strengthen it up to the point where look, I don't care anymore. You know, he three strikes, you're out. Mr. Mean or not, you got two felonies in your record. You go to one more time, you go to jail for a long time. And of course, Rich Pengotsky's trying to separate me from my family. <laughs> Stop being a criminal. Stop doing illegal things stop harassing stop stalking people and you won't go to jail we already know and just for you guys to know he has been making fake accounts of people on facebook as well and he blocks the original so they can't see it and then comes onto my platforms pretending to be them and then says it's not him. It, it is him. It absolutely is. And then he makes fake profiles of himself and says, I do it as a way to attack me. Him or one of his little little goon school, one of his little cult followers. Because again, we're going to do a video soon on the marks of a cult because there are lots of them out there. But the leader of the cult is never wrong, is always right regardless of what they say, never feels the need to repent, lies. That's what they do. So we are taking legal action. And I'm not even joking about it. I'm not, whatever. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. You know, these guys, I, I, you know, we're going to be going to SOPA. And, and the word's already out there that these guys, him and his little, his little friend there from Tennessee is going to fly down there especially to rebuke me. Because after all, they got to get out with the pride people to rebuke Ruben Chavez and Rich Penkowski. So they can go, we rebuked them. <laughs> A dude is literally flying from Tennessee who's never flown anywhere to preach anywhere ever has never left Tennessee or that little corner of Franklin and that's it in Kentucky only around that area just to go that's that's literally stalking and they'll come out to the pride event because he can't I'll be there we all know how he's probably 
I'm just going to be here. Ooh. He's masking his love as hatred. Watch, you'll see. He won't be able to control himself. He has to. Go look at the video when he rebuked Ruben. The guy literally jumped in his car. You could see he was shaking with it. He couldn't wait. He was shaking. He was so excited to go meet Ruben. He was so, oh my gosh, I'm going to meet my hero. He was shaking and giddy with it. Because I believe the guy is a closeted homosexual. Because only homosexuals act that way. Or complete reprobates. But I digress. So again, you guys, those of you who are emailing me stuff, if you do see him on other channels, I, I know I told you guys to stop emailing me, and I, I'm not going to mention names because some of you follow the same channels. Email me the screenshots, not just the link to the channel, because uh, I really don't, some of the channels he's on, I don't even know who these people are. But I need the screenshots of him, and, and if you can, whoever else he's trying to say whatever, I need that as well. Uh, I don't need the link to the channel. I could care less. Uh, I just need proof that he is the one saying and doing this on these people platform. That's all I need. Um, and I'll email, you know, whoever, you know, after this as well. But uh, yeah, we're not, we're not playing games anymore. I, I've hit, I think I've been more than patient. I think I've been more than long suffering, but I'm sorry. When, when you get this guy every single day, three, four, five profiles every time I do a video coming on here, going on Facebook, pretending to be other people, literally have files dedicated to me where he's sitting around making cartoon images of me all day. This is what this guy does. When he's peeping and creeping on my daughter's profile, gets caught and says, it's because Rich and Amanda were using it. No, actually, we weren't. I have never used my daughter's profile. That's a flat-out lie. He only says that because he got caught looking at her profile. He's looking at an underage girl's profile. The same guy has ads for bondage gear and children's underwear on Facebook popping up. And then he says, it's not because we you search. Then when we pointed out and showed him that YouTube's very own things, how you ads appear, oh, my neighbor must have hacked my Wi-Fi right right your neighbor hacked your wi-fi then he takes a screenshot because there's an ad in my videos for something lgbt and says oh look at that rich has got lgbt ads on his thing the problem was that lgbt ad is because that's what ads pop up for your viewing i don't have any lgbt ads pop up in any of my stuff ever and we preach against it a lot so in order for you to be having an advertisement for something LGBT to pop up, it's because you're watching it and you took a screenshot like it's against me. Like I have ads, but no, the ads that you see are because of your search history on which you're looking up on Google. <laughs> I mean, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. He's watching tonight, Rich, and commented on his channel about being called a reverend as being sinful. Of course it is. Everything is sinful. This is the same guy that says, I'm an adult being remarried, but yokes up with JT, whose wife is remarried. But that's okay. He gets a pass. Who actually makes video after video because we accept donations, but his own followers made a whole video about how they corrected their PayPal so they can get donations. That's okay. They're the biggest hypocrites on the planet. The biggest hypocrites. And by the way, that's how they address me. I don't ever call myself that. The problem with guys like that is nobody would ever want him testifying in any House committee on any bill because he's a scumbag. <clears throat> he's watching comments on the channel about being called a reverend. Everything is sinful. Everything everybody else does is sinful except for what he does. His obsession not sinful. His stalking, not sinful. His sitting around making computer program or computer images of me all day, not sinful. His lying and slander, not sinful. Rich Penkoski lies. No, actually, I haven't. If I did, he would have sued. And believe me, he would have if he could have. But everything out of that guy, I have so much. I would love for him to try. I would, I would love for him to try. So what I called Rich, I said he sexually molested his daughter. I took that video down. Mm, yeah, taking it down doesn't absolve your responsibility. You still said it, even though it wasn't true. You never actually said I was. I lied about that. 
He won't do that. He can't say that because then he admits he's a liar. Same guy does says that my case, that my his case against me was dismissed because there was no case. Oh, no, they're a lie. I have the email we've shared it where he agreed to stop harassing and stalking me in exchange for dropping the restraining order. It he tried to have it dismissed, and the judge said no. It was dismissed because he said he would stop stalking and harassing me. Now that's out there. And of course, his excuse was, well, the judge didn't sign it, so I'm not going to buy with that. Oh, great. So now we know you're not a man of your word, thus making you a liar. <laughs> so we know for a fact, with proof, actual evidence, not something that I've, a, a video clip that I've put together to try to frame a narrative around. This is what he said. There's this. We had the screenshot. We put it up there from his lawyer. It's there. And then he didn't do that. Whether a judge signs it or not, if you're a Christian, you're supposed to be a man of your word. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. But let me guess, it's not sinful for him. And that's okay. Again, this is, this. but I'm, I'm, why am I talking about this? Because if you're a Christian, you're when you're a threat to the enemy, this is what's going to happen. The enemy is going to do these kinds of things because the end look this is a guy who literally cried to youtube to try to take down the okay groomer channel which is being used to expose the drag queens what they're doing to children well, now why would a christian want that channel taken down i wonder why would a christian want that that's what i said he said the judge didn't sign it why would a christian want a channel that's literally just there to expose the drag why would he want that taken down Hmm, I wonder, why would a man who calls himself a Christian want that channel taken down? Hmm. wonder why. Could it be because he himself is a groomer? Maybe he likes the grooming videos? I don't know. I don't know. 